Polk County Parks and Recreation has five resource centers and they're located throughout Polk County and they're used to serve the residents in each of those communities. Each center hosts various special events during the year and with Halloween just around the corner they have a party at the Wabash facility that you're not going to want to miss. All the details are coming up next on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Brian Lacey, and joining us in studio from the Wabash Center is uh, Kelly Vetido. Hey, how you doing, Kel? Doing good. Well, good to just, be here. Just <laughs> seems like last month you were in here doing a taping with us. Probably was. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that time of year again, uh, we'll get to the event here in a little bit, but want to talk a little bit about the Resource Center, the, the, the Wabash uh, Center. Talk to me a little bit about the mission there, what you guys do. Well, with the community center, we we have it open for people that can come in. They can use our public computers to come in and, and sign up for jobs, um, applications for jobs, assistance. They can fax papers um, for free, which you can't really do that a whole lot of places, and that kind of adds up when you're faxing three, four, or five papers. Um, We've got a, a great fellowship dining program that's there five days a week for seniors. So we've got the, the older group that comes in and then the afternoons after school, we've got um, an after school program that comes in um, for kindergarten through fifth graders. And we get to help them with homework. Um, and then once they're done, they get to get on the computers or they get to play out on our park, um, our basketball court. And it, it's just a, it's a place for the community to come to get the resources that they need for free, basically. As a former parent and now a grandparent, I realize the importance of a facility like this, a, a, a safe place uh, that Polk County Parks and Rec employees aren't just babysitters. You guys are, are providing a, a, a needed uh, event and facility in that community. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, uh, you know, they say it, it takes the whole village to mm -hmm. raise the children and, and you guys are part of that process. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, I like to think of our community center as I want people to feel like they're part of that family when they come in. We're in that community. Um, so I feel like it's important to make them feel like it's their home when they come in. They can ask any question and not feel um, feel like they're bothering somebody. Um, they can come in and sit with the, the elderly having their fellowship dining program. I just, I think it's a good place for people to come and feel like they can get what they need without going several miles away to get the same resources um, that they would have to pay for. We were just uh, in the Eloise Center uh, a week or so ago, and one of the things that I found amazing was as you walk in, you see the adults at the computers, working the faxes, doing things along that lines. You see the children just getting out of school and, and having that place to come to, and there's programs there for them. And everybody is just, it's, it's, it's like the hustle and bustle of, uh, of, of what's going on in that community. It's really the pulse of what's going on in that community. It really is, and the Eloise Center is one of the nicest facilities that we have. They're, they've got some really cool things going on over there. Um, the Wash, Wabash Community Center is our newest facility. We've been, we've been around for about six years, but um, people are still finding out about us. They, they may live a couple streets away and not really know what we are. So we really try to bring those people in. If we see them walking down the street and we're outside, you know, we, we let them know what we do. Um, and it's, it's a great place for people to come. It really is. And speaking of, you know, having a cool facility, facility like that, uh, what's the sense of having a building like that if you can't have a party? Right. And you guys got a great one planned. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about that. We've got our um, Halloween Spooktacular coming up, and um, we've done this for several years in a row. Um, we kind of have grown in the past several years to, you know, we started out at maybe like 100 kids. Now we're getting up to like 350, 
And so what we've done is um, we've really utilized our playground in, in space out behind our building that's connected to our building mm -hmm. because we just don't have a whole lot of room inside to do that. So we've, we've utilized that over the past couple years and it's really grown and um, the kids love it. We do our games out there. Um, we do our crafts. We do, we play music over, you know, the speakers. Um, we hand out candy bags. We're gonna have someone, one of our volunteers doing some face painting. Um, and something that we implemented last year, which was really, really cool, and we're definitely doing it again this year, um, we made a huge cardboard maze. We went out, we found someone, uh, a company that basically throws their cardboard away, which most places do, they, they break them down. Um, but we took those boxes and me and my, my, um, my part-timer at my center, we built a cool maze out of that so they have to crawl through it um, so we use our multi-purpose room to do that turn out all the lights play some spooky music and they got to crawl through not hit dead ends and find their way out so it's pretty cool they really loved that last year so we're gonna do it again this year one of the things that, that I find impressive is with so many bad things going on in the news you can flip through any channel and see a lot of bad things happening but you guys provide a a safe environment that's family friendly. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. It's really hard these days to feel feel safe when you're out and about trick or treating. Um, some parents just really don't like that idea. It's, you know, it's it's a crazy place. So, we try to provide a safe place for for kids and families to come to enjoy that Halloween experience, but in a safe environment. They're going to get candy that you know is bagged up and you know where it's coming from. Um, so it's it's really neat that they're still gonna get that Halloween experience and that trick-or-treating trick or treating experience without having to go out and canvas a neighborhood for it. If there's one thing that Polk County Parks and Rec is famous for, it's, it's doing more with less. You guys uh, are on limited budget mm -hmm. and resources, but you always, uh, find a way to, to do the great things in the community, put on the parties, and, and there are two things that are, that are the key elements to doing that more with less. That's volunteers and that's sponsors. Let's talk a little bit about the roles that they play and how can folks get involved in either volunteering or sponsorship. Okay, well, <clears throat> we don't have any sponsors right now for this event, but we are willing to take sponsors. We'll take you on. Just uh, give me a call at the center and we can set that up. Um, we'll take anything from bags of candy to, you know, monetary donations. Um, so we're still looking for sponsors for that. Um, volunteers are so vital for our events because we only have so many staff at each event that we have going on. So they help us run the different activities that we do during these events. Um, and if we didn't have them, it, it would be real hard to run a smooth event. So, you know, high schoolers, that's a perfect way for them to get their community service hours. Um, and if they're interested, they can just contact me at the center and we'll get, we'll get them set up for that. Well, Kelly, I'm gonna let you have the last word. I want you to inspire the folks at home to uh, make sure that they make it to this year's event and, and all the events that, that, that you guys have at, uh, at your center. Come on out, you're not gonna to wanna to miss our Halloween Spooktacular at the Wabash Community Center. We're gonna have games, costume contest, coloring contest, um, prizes with those. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it, um, so come on out and join us. So there you have it. Kelly says it, it must be the truth, so make sure you check it out. Uh, Kelly, uh, as usual, always a pleasure having you in, and, and thank you for everything you do for the kids in your community. Thanks for having me. All right, and uh, Polk County Parks and Recreation, wants you to check out the Halloween Spooktacular event. It's a great family friendly event. This free Halloween event features a costume contest, food vendors, trick or treat village, games and much, much more. The event is scheduled for Friday, October 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Wabash Community Center. It's located at 1230 Southern Avenue in Lakeland. If you need more information, 863-284-4223 is the number to dial. Or you can look them up on their web at parksandrec.polk-county.net.